Make pure 24 karat gold bars from old CPU computer scrap. Gold value in CPUs and computer chips. Our best advice is to always check into the rarity and collectability of your computer chip before considering sending it to the precious metal refiner with the intent of scrapping it for its gold content. It may be worth quite a bit more due to its collectible value than its, than its scrap gold value. How to recycle gold from CPU computer scrap and old CPU scrap gold value. Electronics usually consist of silver and gold. It is a great feature of the spectrum and various electrical signals. This video explains how to recycle gold from CPU computer scrap. It shows the gold content amount in CPU and gold volume. You can study from this video clip to guide. The CPU is nearly always covered with a heat sink. The CPU has a small throw switch which needs to be up to open that up. There is a strap as well that holds the CPU to the heat sink. You can also sell the motherboards, RAMs, CPUs, PCIs, gold fingers and other gold plating parts online. Be careful dealing with online vendors. Selling these items on eBay is a good idea as it normally pays more than what you can get from a scrapyard. All of these CPUs that are listed are rare. Some are harder to find than others. Some people like to scrap them for the gold contents and others for a collector's item. Be sure to compare the gold value to the collector value and determine which is more profitable. Gold is usually located at the junction and connector of electronics. Outdated electronics are likelier to produce parts with a high enough level of gold to make the procedure worthwhile. I use gold stripping solution to separate the gold from the CPU into a solution. I recommend some CPU types such as CPU Intel 486386 with gold hidden inside. It must be smashed to break apart the pieces so the gold stripping solution can go to work in every section. Gold Stripping Solution Chemicals Gold Stripping Solution Chemicals consist of 15 grams of gold stripping mixed with 15 grams of sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide and 1 liter of water to dissolve 15 to 25 grams of gold. Many people ask me about the chemical composition of gold stripping. I would like to inform you that gold stripping is a ready-made chemical, like ni nitric acid or cyanide. Usually, we are not interested in producing it. And it may be difficult to find, since it is a chemical used in industrial plants. The use must be used in conjunction with cyanide. Some countries require government permits, as they are dangerous and forbidden chemicals. But I'm not sure which countries 
you would need to check first. Gold stripping may consist of hydrazine, ammonia, polymer and other chemicals that are mixed together. But this is just my assumption. I precipitated gold from the solution of gold stripping solution chemicals with zinc powder using potassium hydroxide as a catalyst for gold to adhere to zinc powder. Then separated the gold from zinc powder by using nitric acid mixed with water at a ratio of 1 to 2. You will be left with gold sediments. After the zinc powder has been completely dissolved you will receive gold precipitate. Rinse and clean with hot water three times. When you have finished stripping the gold, you will have enough gold powder once dry you can forge gold with. At 90 to 95% gold purity. If you want 24 karat gold purity, use aqua regia to dissolve the gold. Operational safety. Prudent execution of experiments requires not only sound judgment and an accurate assessment of the risks involved in the laboratory, but also the selection of appropriate work practices to reduce risk and protect the health and safety as well as the public and the environment. You should wear protective chemical clothing such as gloves, protective eyewear, a mask, a long sleeved shirt and long pants. Take precautions to avoid exposure by contact with skin and eyes, inhalation and ingestion. Proper ventilation is required as this precipitant has a very strong pungent acid odour and is corrosive. The key is to keep it far away from communities and pets.
Aqua regia is composed of two chemical substances with a ratio of one nitric acid to three hydrochloric acid mixed together. The ratio between gold alloy and acid aqua regia is 50 grams gold alloy to 200 milliliters of acid aqua regia. From my experiment, when gold alloy was made into a solution at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius to reach saturation point. Use sodium metabisulfate to precipitate gold out of the aqua regia solution. You will get a gold sludge powder that looks like mud. Sodium metabisulfate, also known as sodium bisulfate, is an affordable and effective selective precipitant for gold. The chemical can recover up to 99.95% of pure gold when the precipitated gold is thoroughly rinsed. It works well even at room temperature. Precipitated gold particles vary in size, but tend to be small and float easily in the rinsed water. For this reason, special care must be taken to avoid accidentally pouring off gold with the rinse water. Use hot water to clean the sludge powder that looks like mud three to five times or without sodium metabisulfate. Boil the gold mud and hydrochloric acid to 90 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Use hot water to clean the sludge powder that looks like mud three to five times with hot water. You will get gold sludge powder. Make dry using low heat to avoid splashes. How to melt gold into cubes. Sprinkle a little, a little borax powder before and after melting for the perfect melting technique. There are many methods for melting gold into cubes. Using induction heater, melting gold into cubes will be fast and convenient. Or you may use a butane gas flamethrower burner. You may need to be careful of splashes of gold powder while using.
I hope you like our videos. Please apply for membership and share our videos to cheer. Thank you very much.